This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Friday of the first week of Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, An Act of the Greatest Charity. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. This paralytic is a symbol of certain people in our lives who seem to be incapable of turning to our Lord by their own effort. It's clear that the paralytic wanted healing, but he was unable to come to our Lord by his own effort. Therefore, the friends of this paralytic carried him to Jesus, opened the roof, since there was such a large crowd, and lowered the man down before Jesus. The perilous of this man is a symbol of a certain type of sin. It's a sin that someone desires forgiveness for, but is incapable of turning to our Lord by their own effort. For example, a serious addiction is something that can so dominate a person's life that they cannot overcome this addiction by their own effort. They need the help of others to even be able to turn to our Lord for his help. We each must see ourselves as the friends of this paralytic. Too often when we see someone who is trapped in a life of sin, we simply judge them and turn away from them. But one of the greatest acts of charity we can offer another is to help provide them with the means they need to overcome their sin. This can be done by our counsel, our unwavering compassion, a listening ear, and by any act of fidelity to that person during their time of need and despair. How do you treat people who are caught in the cycle of manifest sin? Do you roll your eyes at them and turn away? Or do you firmly determine to be there for them to give them hope and to assist them when they have little or no hope in life to overcome their sin. One of the greatest gifts you can give to another is the gift of hope by being there for them to help them turn fully to our Lord. Reflect today upon a person you know who seems to be not only caught in the cycle of sin but has also lost hope to overcome that sin. Prayerfully surrender yourself over to our Lord and commit yourself to the charitable act of doing anything and everything you can so as to help them fully turn to our Divine Lord. Let us pray. My precious Jesus, fill my heart with charity toward those who need you the most but seem incapable of overcoming the sin in their lives that keep them from you. May my unwavering commitment to them be an act of charity that gives them the hope they need to surrender their life to you. Use me, dear Lord. My life is in your hands. Jesus, I trust in you.